Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. agenda is not some group it's an old agenda satan had tried through dispensations and failed satan hates men because men have bodies a body has thou prepared for me find out how many people died because a child was born moses find out how many people died are we together listen this is helping to now make sense that the thing which is is the thing which has been so when you see whether it is terrorism whatever it is you now when you are praying you pray from the lens of this intelligence that we just found ourselves in the middle of history this thing is an old story it's not about the foundation in your family that story is deeper than that it's not about the devil wanting to make you poor or not wanting you to have a child that's that is a little piece of the old story and cain killed abel when he killed abel now theologically speaking they say cain and abel are twins because the bible just said adam knew his wife once and we see these two come right but then the bible now says again that adam knew his wife again very dangerous statement that was a discovery that was going to shock satan that this potential to give birth is theoretically infinite that made the woman dangerous you now see why satan looks for women conduct deliverance for 10 people eight of them will be women it is not a, oh dear. i testify i testify that your goodness is real your goodness is real i testify for a very long time i wondered why the devil will not let women rest is it just because they have a womb is it because they are beautiful is it because men pursue them no i found the reason satan listen carefully to what jesus said or god said he said the seed shall bruise the head are we together now yes there's something about women and the anger that their presence creates to the gate of hell no wonder the first person to see the resurrected christ was a woman the first person to see christ resurrected was a woman let's get back to our discussion the bible now says adam knew his wife again and she bore him a child and he named the child seth he says and men began again to call upon the name of the lord now but watch this the bible now said this guy called cain even though he killed his brother even though he talked with god he did not change that's a lesson i can spend all night there that just talking with god alone does not equal transformation cain was talking with god an encounter that very few people have had yet it did not change him proximity to the word proximity to spiritual activities does not produce transformation it means we have to invent another formula such that all those who come close to us as they are listening and they are in church for many years we shouldn't make that assumption that just because they are hearing the word of god they are changing the first person we see as a man talking with god directly in rebellion and you know what the first statement was it's not i worship you it's not i love you your majesty the first word that came from man to god aside from adam and eve is am i my brother's keeper here's where the issue of relationship came am i my brother's keeper why should i have any business with my brother provided it does not support my interest 
this is the book of the beginnings everything you can literally trace everything about men i hope god is speaking to us and i pray that i'm making sense hallelujah from that time every time satan found a man three things pastor three don't forget this please every time satan finds a man he's interested in three things number one the handing over of the will of that man to him number two the building of a system that is loyal to him the bible says and cain departed from the presence of god are we together and when he departed from the presence of god that means willfully he was no longer in submission to the authority of the kingdom and the bible says he built a city from that day every time satan finds men he's obsessed with building cities the tower of babel darius building babylon herod till tomorrow every time satan finds men his obsession is to build a system and a city that does not honor god this is the system we call babylon a representation of the antichrist system this is the system and the operation that controls our social environment that we call cosmos are we together now and satan had satan did that by programming a set of beliefs and an approach to life the bible calls it in one word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with the age so he says genesis i mean romans chapter 12 and verse 1 i beseech you brethren therefore he says by the message of god that ye offer your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto god he calls it your reasonable act of worship or service verse 2 he says and be not conformed to this world it's not the word cosmos it's the word aeon there is a thinking pattern like a software that is the that is the mindset that is responsible for this architecture we call babylon so the three hebrew boys said no we will not bow to you oh king we respect you but when it has to do with building a government and a system that is not consistent with kingdom we will not bow and there was a consequence I don't have the time to go to the book of Daniel and show you, but please do well to read the entire book of Daniel. You will find out, sir, that when it had to do, Satan never projects himself. He projects self. Once it is self, Satan is glorified, even if it is not him. You read Revelation 13, the same thing. Satan does not come out to say, I am Satan. He just says, anything that is not God is welcome nebuchadnezzar built whose image please talk to me whose image so the moment you find yourself magnifying and glorifying self don't ever be deceived it is still satan masquerading to an agency he has designed called self so when you know this as a man of god whilst you teach you don't just sit there and just religiously say as the spirit leads you can bring teachings that dethrone self in people because every manifestation of self i tell you is satan when cain built a city he named it after his son to glorify himself when nimrod kush in genesis 11 theologically speaking you know that nimrod killed his father and married his mother semiramai who is purported to be the queen of heaven are we together now yes that's theology nimrod kush gathered the people they went to the land of china and he says go to come let us build brick and mortar and let us build a city whose top will reach the heavens now there are many theological debates whether that was a physical kingdom or spiritual kingdom one thing we know is that it was a threat because god himself came down to destroy it the fall of man is not just about sinning against god uh -uh. it's deeper than that the fall of man is not just about disobeying god the fall of man is an attempt to glorify self so just because you are free from sin does not mean the journey has finished there is the next assignment to dethrone self if we don't teach believers this the moment they, that's why we have many people in church who get born again and say i'm born again for 10 years now he becomes a deacon now he becomes a worker and you still see self 
you are not free until self dies no matter how how born again you are if self is still alive there is a legitimate ground for the devil to be glorified in and through your life thank you for watching our entire video today if you feel you can bless someone please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media